welcome back to this great war mod for Napoleon Total War. So we got quite a few things going on. Uh, first of all, let's start in the east. We've got this uh, attack on Finland, which will hopefully be resolved by next turn. And then we have the two army groups, or uh, this smaller army and this big army, moving in uh, to finally seize the Balkans and for once hold Belgrade and not let it slip back into the rebels' hands, which it has done uh, during the incompetence of the Austro-Hungarians. Uh, then we've got the Italians massing on the border, ready to march across into uh, Marseille, or occupying Marseille, occupied by our forces. At the same time, we've got these two armies moving in to strangle the last of the resistance of the French. And, uh, yes, I almost forgot the Danish. We've got a uh, the most... Uh, or the newest army, and possibly the most well-equipped army, moving in to try to attack the Danish. They have so far gone ahead and avoided battle, so I guess we're going to have to push them until they, they cannot retreat no further. So, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Possibly, Danes will, at some point, actually stand to fight, but not right now. And I think that was my last move, so let's go ahead and end turn. Austro-Hungarians moving around like idiots, as per usual. I'm wondering what it is about that area that keeps um, keeping, or sort of constantly have them rebelling against the Austro-Hungarians. Why can the Austro-Hungarians not keep it, and why can the Greeks? not either keep it, because they lost it too, because at some point it was Greek. But I guess maybe the Austro-Hungarians took it, and then they managed to lose it to rebels again. So there's some feisty, uh, feisty rebels there in uh, Belgrade. Norway did nothing. The Spanish, I did declare, or I set up a truce, and hopefully a lasting peace with the Spanish. Italians, uh, they uh, they actually did move across. Right, reconnaissance plane in Russia. Uh, a bomber plane in Russia as well. Let's see, who is this? This is the reconnaissance plane. This is the bomber plane. This is the one I want to use. So we're going to send that to the Italian front. Actually, we'll send the... Uh, we can send the um, reconnaissance plane there as well. And then there was a third one, which is a bomber a lot closer, so we might actually be able to use this one. Um, let's go ahead and bomb Rome. Why not? Oh, there's a deadline. Campaign deadline. Uh, have I achieved the victory goals then? To force maybe the British to surrender. Bomb! Let's bomb the barracks. Airplane detected. Uh, but did he manage to bomb it? I'm not entirely sure. I don't think he did. So we got a deadline approaching. Uh, let's see, where do we have that? Ta -ta -ta. List, building. Diplomacy. Objectives. Right. So, by late December 1918, we need to capture and hold 24 regions, including the regions shown, uh, completed by the end um, of your turn. Okay, so right now, let's see. We hold all of our original territory. We hold all of the Russian territory. And we also hold... Although the French territory, so we will win by the end time. So there's no um, need to worry about that. 
And another. We can... <laughs> This was one of the regions I didn't have to hold, so we could liberate it and create a puppet state here. Um, why not? For the hell of it. Let's make a puppet state. This is going to be interesting. Let's go ahead and talk to this puppet state. Let's get a trade agreement going. Uh, and... Let's get... Yes, we do probably have breaking alliance. Yes, we have an alliance. Trade embargoes. Technology. We'll give them a lot. Of different technologies. Keep them happy. And how about we give them a gift as well. To start off with. Where is that state gift? We'll give them a a nice looking horse. How about that? So we uh, we have created this little state. And let's see. We moved here. We're holding here. The Italians are coming. I've got more troops lined up. The problem with the Italians is the bunkers. I really don't like the bunkers. Let's see if the bomber plane can go ahead and bomb again. No, I did. Ah, I already did that. Then we will close in on Belgrade. The armies are close, and soon they will ready to cross. This is going to be one hell of a battle. Same time, the last Russian hold will be swept away. Um, it's a massacre. There's no point in playing this. We couldn't actually create Finland. But Russia is destroyed. And, yes. Oh yeah, my plan was to give this to Sweden, but first we need to just build everything up so it doesn't rebel. Immediate bankruptcy. What's the problem? It's because of Finland, isn't it? Yes, every single region has gone topsy-turvy. Every single region for all the countries, it seems, have gone completely utter... Uh, strange. I wonder if I... If I defeat the rebels there if I could create Serbia again as Serbia as my puppet state instead but I fear that the Austro-Hungarians cannot let that be so I think what we'll do is we'll conquer it we'll make sure that the Austro-Hungarians can hold it and then we'll give it to the Austro-Hungarians bloody idiots I I would like to invade England, but I don't think that is going to happen. The Greeks offer terms of peace. Yes, I have no interest in little the little Greeks. And once the war is... Oh, oh look at that. The Dutch, what are they doing? Who are they at war with? Where are they moving an army? I need to check. So that will be interesting. The Italians sneaking around in the forest. We got another bomber coming in. They can fly very, f very, very far for being um, such crappy old bombers. Can I bomb the army? Bomb. Yes! We successfully bombed this place. Good. More ships being recruited. Right, where are the Dutch going? The Dutch are at war with no one, so... But they do dislike the Greeks for some reason. For some reason, the Dutch really, really... They dislike the Austro-Hungarians, the Scandinavians. 
uh, the newly formed re region of uh, Brittany, and yeah, they're they don't care really for anything else. Right. Let's go ahead and see this region. It seems fine. We could, yes, we could use this strike force to move and invade England. It's not Finland. Oh, Finland is part of the victory terms. So, I cannot, unfortunately, give that away. I think. Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. Thing is, I could continue beyond this. Couldn't I? And France should be gone. No, oh yes, France. They do have a few islands, don't they? We do have a navy here, yes. We can move this army then up back to Brussels and we can board them on ships and attack England. Good, good. We're gonna need railroads in these regions. Yes, we are building already. And the army against the Italians is growing rapidly. We're probably gonna need some Jaegers. What's the difference here? Nothing really. Well, since we just conquered Finland, let's have some more Finnish Jaegers. And then I think it's the strike. Oh yeah, we need to continue to hound the Danes. We force them into a corner. Hopefully they won't be able to move any further. Nasty though to fight in the forest when we have such nice it is. Um Yes. Oh, they attack out the enemy force. They realize that they cannot defend Belgrade, and so they attack out, and he's caught without reinforcements. Here it goes. The battle for Belgrade. They do outnumber us in artillery. And that is going to prove um, quite difficult, I think. Plus, they do have a lot of infantry. If this army is defeated, it's going to take me a lot to uh, try to um, try to march up there. They have a lot of cavalry as well. Let's look at these. Ready to defend all these bloody rebels. They've got a very red flag, so I'm imagining that these are communist rebels. That's a lot of guns. We don't have nearly enough. But our cannons will be ready, unlike the enemies. And then, I was gonna say, we have, yeah, we do have veteran troops compared with theirs. And then this will be first line, and this will be second. Start off, and let's endeavor to gain ground upon the enemy. Our guns are first to fire. And I do believe they are aiming for the enemy artillery. I thought they hit over here. Yes, they probably are. Even... Yes. Let's go ahead and tell them to fire at these artillery units. I think one was firing at this. Oh, here comes the enemy artillery. A nasty large bombardment. <laughs> 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 
The enemy cavalry is oncoming. Hold your positions and open fire. The enemy cavalry charges forth. And they are able to reach the line. But they just managed to reach it before they get utterly destroyed. Let's see if we can regroup these men a bit. Gain that slight hill and then we're gonna need to uh, here to flank the enemy and then I think the forest is gonna come become a problem so we're gonna put two over there and we're gonna keep you as reserve our artillery is gonna have a fire but the guns are still firing this one has suffered a lot we've got another cavalry attack coming in But it, it too is a head-on attack and it just turns into a slaughter. The cavalry in the forest seem to uh, manage a bit better, but still it's a head-on attack. And they just get slaughtered. We have inflicted quite a bit of damage on the enemy artillery, however. I did not notice that we would that we had uh, caused them such such damage. There's fighting over in the forest, but it looks as though the main fight is going to go down here in the middle as the enemy advances. But they are not returning fire which is turning the entire affair into a slaughter the communist rebels are falling back look at all that fire going down on this unit right here in the center they are forced back we've got one unit in the flank still fi still fighting but we need to keep these guys on the runs. We will push up. The two artillery will now focus on the last enemy battery. We need to push that guy out of the way so we can advance upon their artillery position. Move up on the right. Soon these will break. This one is holding on quite well. Even though I just say they hold on well and then they fall. Forwards! Keep pushing the enemy. Once this goes, I'm pretty sure this one will go as well. And the general is now charging through the forest. He's getting uh, hit by uh, artillery moving through the forest in a attack straight forward on our position there he is maybe no that's not him who's the general here who are of all of you are the officer anyways he's retreating and so is no his army rallies as the bastard retreats Gain this ground right here, and you need to push out of the forest. The forest showed itself to be a great defensive position for the enemy. Move up. We are forming a half, a cr uh, half crescent around the enemy's strong position right here around their artillery. And here is where we hope to annihilate them. Once we start opening fire, our superior firepower and uh, our skill at arms will surely be enough 
to uh, force the enemy to flee back to Belgrade and a diminished force that won't be able to fight back once we attack the city. Only some artillery and some a few units here and there are holding on. According to this, it's still, the battle is still 50-50. And I don't think anyone would agree on that uh, statement. We will let the enemy retreat beyond there. We're not going to advance any further. We're just hoping that this artillery will give way. And once it does, we will be victorious. What's this then? An enemy unit comes up from behind. Comes marching out of this small city. Some crazy alien pillar thingies. Right, destroy them. Once that's one destroyed. Why is the artillery shelling landing over here and not over where the actual cannon is? Right, they've completely broken now. And this one's broken. And the guys from the city is broken. We won the battle. And it looks to be a heavy at a heavy cost to the Serbian rebels. Heroic victory. Let's see what the statistics say. How many did die? So out of the Serbian force, 2,724 did uh, perish. Only 303 remaining. And that's the exact same loss that we had. Interesting. And that means that the two groups can advance and we can now take the city, peacefully occupy, region captured, um, steady under fire, darling of the gutter press, and corporal in golden braids. Was this all awarded to this guy? I believe so. To this guy, maybe. Steady under fire he got. Right, this is maybe why. Because no one's bothered putting any points in here at all. And... What, ca what does this region have? It has a iron mine. And that's about it. Look at this region. <laughs> I have no wonder it's it's all over the place. 35% Orthodox, 35% Catholic, and 30% Islam. So the Catholics, I guess, would be the Croatians. Actually, the Croatian region has it, o it has its own, but it would be the Croatian that are the Catholic. And then we have the Orthodox, which would be the Serbians. And then we have the Islam, which would be down, I guess, I don't know. Some, I'm guessing down towards Albania region. Or some, I think Bosnia. But, oh, this region's a complete mess. And with that, I think it's... Uh, let's... Maybe here, I don't know. Uh, but now this group is uh, poised to be able to march and attack the Italians in the back by attacking Venice. Let's see, what else kind of force do we have? Yes, the this one sh is going to move. These ones holding. And the Danish one moved. Um, these guys moved. They're moving over 
there. Yes, yes, yes. Everything is going according to plan. Let's see if we can actually... What do the French think? They only have one region left. And they're at war with us and the Romanians. They are allied with the Danish. That almost looked like the uh, Mexicans. You have nothing. How about peace? What do you say to that? France signs peace. France is being pushed out of the war. And, oh, they really... They have nothing. The French Republic is forced to live out its day on Corsica. Right. Uh, let's go ahead and end turn. The Allies grow fewer and fewer by the day. This little aircraft is moving. I believe this might be the bomber. Or one of them. The c bomber could prove useful in starting rebellions behind the line. What if I bomb the Italians to submission? At this point, I don't think the Italians would continue fighting. If I do a successful invasion, if I have managed to do successful invasion of England and I managed to take London, that would be well enough to prove my supremacy. Um, they will join me. Fine. You should have stayed in the war against United Kingdom and Denmark anyways, you stupid old goat. Don't worry, I'll give you back... I'll give you Belgrade once I built it to, uh... To perfection. The thing, though, is that I want you to attack Italy, you stupid old goat. Because the Italians are all over the place at this point. Right. End of turn reports. We're building crap. And this region is not very happy. Cultural difference. Religious unrest. We're going to build town council. No, we're going to build a theater here. Without the... Um, the... What's it called? The other thing, um, they won't be, you know what, this army could stay to guard the area while this one continues on. It will, however, take with it um, some of these better units, at least these two. No, the machine gun will stay to defend, I think. Mm, or, no, not at all, actually. The machine gun will follow the new army, or the large army, on its way to Venice, while this army tries to... Oh, they're very angry, but that's uh, to be expected. That will change, hopefully, quite soon. Um, yes, yes, yes. This region should really have provincial administration instead. And the boats will now move towards England. What we can do with this army right here is we can have these boats come and pick him up over here and then move across the channel. And then we can move... This army then will be the army that will attack London. Yes. Early October. Let's... Have I... Have I moved everything? You! Yes, this army needs to come directly to the aid of uh, the Marseille region. This needs to change as well to administration. We have no need for military buildings out here. And go to Paris. Right. Uh, I think 
that was yes we moved these guys we moved these the Danish the Danish they are cornered you know what let's leave that for the next one so this one will be the fight against the Serbians and the next one will be the fight against the Danes and then the l hopefully last one will be the attack and defeat or of the English at London. So, I hope you enjoyed this, and hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!